one of the most important and critical issues facing our food systems at this time is the destruction of the fertility of the world's soils. It's not realised that the future of civilizations will depend largely on whether our generation of farmers and those that follow us can go about rebuilding the lost fertility of the soils which has been eroded as a result of industrial and intensive farming since the Second World War. Sixty-five percent of agricultural soils on the African continent are degraded. That's because the soils have been used unsustainably. At the same time, there is the search on for more land to grow more food, ignoring the fact that there is all this land that could be restored through using organic farming and sustainable agricultural practices. So I argue and I advocate on the African continent that we have to pay attention to the degraded soils and the abandoned soils and restore them rather than continuously just looking for more hectares of virgin land, cutting the forests, moving into the grasslands, which is going to have very, very negative consequences, both for the atmosphere in terms of carbon, but also in terms of biodiversity. And what we need to do is to move away from fertilizers, which act as biocides to soil bacteria, and pesticides, which also destroy soil life, to rotational farming practices, using compost and the return, practicing the law of return, really. And as a result of that, rebuilding fertility. And my experience over 39 years on a farm in Wales is that this can actually work. So we need a shock because actually things are very serious and then we need to be inspired by best practice and we need beacons of inspiration, good farmers practicing soil regenerative techniques all over the world to show how it can be done and lead other farmers. We should be able to see in this rocky soil the soil life. So here we're going to remove the, the mulch. Don't know if you can see it on the camera, but there's the fungi. There you can see if I open up here, more root is, but there's the rocks in the soil. To think that there was just rocks, it was basically a riverbed that we planted the stuff in. Small little earthworm. There's a, there's a nice big one. They have the right to life also. And uh, I think soil is just a blessing to us. And uh, we must just, just treat it with uh, compassion. And we must look after the earth. Because if we look after the earth, it would look after us. If you, if you really want to do something, you can make a difference in a small way. I'm just glad that I can have a small part in making sure that there's earthworms for the next generation to see, if, if that is my role in life. <laughs>